Hey guys, welcome back to the Make Me Lab. Today I thought I'd show you really quickly how I improve the audio for my YouTube videos using a freeware program called Audacity. So to start with, you'll need to download the Audacity program for whatever operating system you're using. It is entirely free and works like a champ. A quick look at what you can expect to get. I've got the old original audio recorded from my audio recorder separate from my camera on the top track. Hey guys, welcome back to the Make Me Lab. And then we, once we do our modifications, we'll get this. Hey guys, welcome back to the Make Me Lab. Pretty dramatic difference, and I'll show you how to get this for any of your videos right here. So once we have Audacity installed and a blank slate for our upcoming project, we can just go ahead and drag our audio in. This is the audio I've recorded on my external audio recorder. You can do the same for your on-camera audio. You're just gonna have to break that audio out so Audacity can work with it. And I find it's worth it, uh, far better than some of the editing suites. So once we're in here, we're just gonna go ahead and zoom in. A thing you need to remember, always do some dead air at the beginning of your video because this is where you're going to have that annoying background hiss and we're going to go ahead and get rid of it. So we select the dead space before we're speaking. We're going to go to effects, noise reduction, get the noise profile for the track. We're going to go select it all. We're going to go back to noise reduction again and we're going to click OK. And this is going to go ahead and remove all that annoying background hiss. Within reason, you have to make sure that you don't have an excessive amount of it or it will distort your track. So now we can zoom back out a little bit because so we're going to need to see the waveforms here in a minute. We don't need to be zoomed in real far for this. Next step, we're going to go, F, go ahead and do a normalize on this track. It's going to normalize it. We're going to go to Effect Compressor. You can change these compression settings, but I find just stock is fine. Go ahead and click OK. We're going to apply the compressor. Once that's done, leaving the whole thing selected, we're going to hit Equalization. We're going to go ahead and we're going to give our a little bit of bass boost. You can drop this back if you like, but this is just going to give your, your voice a little bit more authority. Click OK. We're going to go to Effect Equalization again. This time we're going to add a little bit of treble boost. This is going to get, add that clarity to your voice. Perfect. See the changes on the waveform? Looking good. After that we're going to go ahead and we're going to normalize the track again. Now what we're going to do we want this to be all of our good audio without these little overloads, without where we've made a, a lot of noise during our recording. So we're going to do a hard limiter on this. I'm going to go to limiter. We're going to have it as a hard limit. And this is where you're going to have to look at your waveform and decide how much. I'm going to say around, let's start at negative seven there and take a look at your waveform and watch. See, we just clipped the tops, but we didn't clip the main audio where we're talking. We hit it perfect that time. If we went too far, if we go say a little further yet, you'll see it's going to cut down into our voice here a little bit further. And actually, I'd say we can get away with that. That one's actually going to be pretty good. So we can go to effect and we're going to normalize it once more. And that's going to fill everything back in without the really high limits. We could actually have limited it just a little bit further, but I think this is going to sound quite good really quick mailbag for you today got a that's great we don't have it overpowering but we got that clarity and removed of that background noise out of it at the beginning of the track i always snap my fingers and make a loud noise so i can sync this to the video afterwards in post and i'll show you how to do that in an upcoming video that's all there is to it you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna export the audio and we're going to save it as a wave 16 bit and we're going to call it the same thing, but let's call it fixed. And it's going to come up with a little pop up. We're going to say, OK, it's going to export it as a wave file, 16 bit, awesome audio. Now we can go ahead and take that file and bring it back into our editing and remove that annoying original audio or your on camera audio works like a champ, adds a whole new dimension to YouTube videos. I hope this helped you. Please click a thumbs up down below if you find this useful. Let me know how this worked out for your editing or anything else you'd like to see in the future. Cheers, guys.